As the council plans to regenerate Wimbledon, building nine to 12 storey buildings, a local artist expresses his view on this in 30 drawings. There was a big meeting in the library. My instinct at the meeting was they, the council have consulted a lot. They know what people want. They have really understood. They've done a fantastic job. And yet it did feel like we're trying to convince you as residents that nine storey, 12 storey buildings aren't, aren't anything to be worried about. I wanted to fathom my own feelings about it and so I started working. The first drawing was all I had to go on. I suppose it was lucky that it worked out well as a drawing. I wouldn't have known where it was going to end up when I started. I didn't think there would be 30 drawings. There were, there were a few I had in mind at first. It was trying to chronicle how Wimbledon looks now, but I suppose not in a full history way, but more to think about how the future might look. The outcome is dependent on how well you draw, how well you concentrate, how well you keep your head still, how you allow the whole atmosphere of what you're looking at to blow through you and onto the page. The town that I want to see preserved is the one that I use <laughs> and I love using. I've organised a civic forum event on the 20th of June. The neighbourhood planning group that is, has the idea of making a neighbourhood plan both with the input of residents and businesses. I'm hanging the drawings in the exhibition rooms of the Merton art space. My intention is to explain how drawings could, could be seen as a metaphor for creating a neighbourhood plan. Creativity can is a good thing and a positive thing and can engage people and can be shared or promoted and uh, inspire people or make things happen. I've always found that drawing is a good way to understand time and place and feelings about it, my own feelings, I can see them on the page afterwards. Maybe not immediately, but over time, you, looking at a drawing, you can gradually get a sense of what the person was feeling, even if it's yourself. It's a unique human activity, I think, I believe. I don't, I don't know of another one that makes sense of the world in such a direct way.